Fox 55's Trace Grant got to see them in action. Take a look. Fourth of July would not be Fourth of July without hot dogs. And here at Coney Island, they've been serving them up for 110 years on Main Street. If it's not broke, don't fix it. For more than a century now, Coney Island has served their classic hot dogs the same way. And on Independence Day, they expect a line of customers out the door. Oh, it's exciting because everybody loves uh, uh, Fourth of July. It's more, nothing's more American than that holiday. So uh, everybody's in a good mood and everybody loves to come in and eat hot dogs. We're happy to be a part of it. With the restaurant being in the same building since the beginning, people like Miles Babcock have grown up coming here. He used to drive up from Bluffton with his grandfather, and he still continues to make the trip today. Being able to see like the old pictures and stuff like that too. Um, it's been the same since I was a kid and, and a long time before that. So. While Babcock has been coming here since he was a kid, Jack Totoron has actually grown up at Coney Island, just like his father before him. And both say it's been a core part of their childhoods. Everyone that comes in, they know they're coming into a piece of history. Um, these walls, if they could talk, you know, that's such a popular saying, but truly, if these walls could talk, so many uh, different businesses before Coney Island um, and just the people that they've seen and the stories that they've heard. My parents would drop me off out front and uh, I would run in and get a dozen to go and jump back in the car and away we'd go. We'd eat them in the car. And while Jack enjoys working there, he says there's just something special about working on the 4th of July. Uh, the patriotism that these people have. Everyone comes in, red, white, and blue, uh, screaming patriotism. After 110 4th of Julys, people have been able to enjoy their Coney dogs just to their liking. Uh, just the Coney dog, and then you always got to get the little Coke, too. <laughs> Coney sauce, just Coney sauce onions. I'm not a big mustard guy. But nothing beats the classic. We serve our traditional Coney Island hot dog, which is mustard, Coney sauce, and onions on a steamed bun. Coney Island is forever grateful to be part of the Fort Wayne community, and they're looking forward to serving you guys for another 110 years. Reporting on Main Street, Troy Grant. Fox 55 News.